What would happen if you took the Fujifilm FinePix F80 EXR and gave it a little sex appeal? The Fujifilm FinePix Z700 EXR. With a 16.9 aspect, 3.5 inch touchscreen LCD, and hot sliding facade in place of an on off switch. And overall, we'd have to say the functionality of this camera's touchscreen was above average. It's not the best, but it's pretty decent. It's fairly responsive, and it's very convenient to have all of the options aligned along the left and right sides of the frame. We could even swipe from left to right in playback mode, and all of our adjustments could be made on the screen. There's even a touch and shoot shooting mode, which allows us to touch part of the frame and take a shot immediately. A couple things were sacrificed when going from a thicker body to a thinner body on the Z700 EXR. The first is zoom. This camera has a 5x optical zoom. And the other thing is in 720p video recording, you can't zoom while you're shooting. Whereas with the F80 EXR, you can do that. The Z700 EXR's image quality is about the same as the F80 EXR's, and that's because both cameras share the same sensor and have the same resolution. It's the Super CCD EXR with EXR technology, which we covered in yesterday's F80 EXR review. So be sure to check out that for the details on how EXR technology works. For its class, the Z700 EXR had a decent amount of manual controls though we couldn't set the shutter speed and aperture. We had exposure compensation, we could still set the dynamic range, uh, we still had our lovely Velvia black and white sepia and Provia color options. Also the Z700 EXR can only dip down to a four second shutter speed compared to the F80 EXR which has a an eight second shutter speed. So low light was not as strong with this camera either. But this camera's reason for existing is its slim, sleek, stylish body and full 3.5 inch touchscreen on the back. Overall, we really liked the touchscreen LCD. However, the resolution was severely lacking. Uh, that's one thing that needs to be improved. Maybe a 921,000 dot display would be nice. The ability to zoom while we're recording HD video, improved HD video, and uh, that's about it. But the Fujifilm FinePix Z700 still excelled in the portability, style, and image quality department. And that's really what this camera is going for. Canon, Sony, and Samsung are the major competitors in the touchscreen realm. So be sure to check out some of those models in this price range before you settle on the FinePix Z700 EXR. For InfoSyncWorld.com, I'm Mike Perlman.